Hello beautiful people. Today we're going to be going on a little bit of tour of uh, checking out some new local skate spots. I recently moved a whole bunch of new skate parks in my area and skate spots but we're also going to be diving into the skateboarding rules and etiquette and breaking all those etiquettes and how that actually is an advantage in skateboarding. Skateboarding a lot of times we have echo chambers in the culture so that's what we're going to be diving in into this video as we take a tour around some really fun local skate parks that I haven't been to really since uh, I've moved here. I've only moved here like uh, actually I think today is the first this is the first weekend that I haven't been moving so super hyped to jump into this video and to check out all these local skate parks. <laughs> Skateboard. Park is so fun. I love how like, mellow it is. Most ocean type parks are really packed. Yeah. Prince Park, so to say. Um, even like MLK. MLK is not as packed as Prince Park, but like this park alone, yeah, not packed. A lot of fun, a lot of obstacles, a lot of variations. Like, I think I could skate here for a year straight and not get tired of it because of all the obstacles and all the different ways you can hit things. Yeah. It's a very so creative true. park. Yeah. I think that's like goes to say too something kind of to the point of this video is that like going to the skate park that's not super popular is actually an advantage but everyone in skateboarding likes to go to the skate park that all the pros go to or like where other people get clips at because it like I don't know what it is. It's I think it's like, like want to be seen. Like, yeah, you want to get seen. I think with it's like, kind of like a way to get um, on acknowledged map. on the map. Yeah, you like, go to, you go to like the skate park everyone goes to and you do a trick there that no one's seen before and like that's a very typical way in a very accepting way that skateboarders kind of like catapult themselves I guess. Yeah when I was like when I was coming up like uh, I moved from Colorado so of course I didn't know anyone out here and I would just you know be going to the park and skating normal trying to get better. One time I ran into like randomly this guy's like let me shoot a photo of you on my phone or on his phone and then uh, find out later it's Dave Swift. It's like you just oh, never know at what park you're skating if you go to the popular parks you never know who's can, who's watching and who can see what's going to go down so I think that's why you know some of these people go to these bigger, bigger parks. parks yeah i think also though like i'm just gonna play devil's advocate for a minute is like if you have a skate park that nobody goes to i think it's advantage like kind of like if you live in the middle of nowhere to me i'd rather see that footage because i've already seen so much footage at like venice beach skate park for example i don't want to see another fucking clip at venice <laughs> beach skate park personally yeah, yeah. but like people still eat it up so i guess my point being is like if you actually go somewhere that nobody else goes I think that's a big advantage. Kind of my point being is like, you want to be the black sheep. You don't want to just go and do what everyone else is doing. You're going to stick out better if you actually go to a skate park that nobody goes to. Like, yeah, the clips you post, I think on like your story or on your Instagram or whatever the clips you post on whatever the clips that you put out, they're going to look better if they're at a park that no one hits refreshing you know it's yeah like the same park that it's like a fresh hitting. perspective yeah exactly you're just like oh it's this park you know it's this park so new park it's not that you're just looking at the trick itself it's like you're looking at the 
park this dude's skating because you're interested in that as well, you know, so. Yeah, 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 that's true. So I think the environment, you don't always have to confine to like, you know, people think like, all right, flat game is skate. I got to go to the barracks and prove myself. I think you can do it yourself and find your own way of doing that. That's the point that I'm getting at here. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, find your way and run with it. And that's kind of what I think we're doing with YouTube right now, you know? Yeah, true. No, no, no. Break the rules. Like, Kind of like, I mean, obviously YouTube skaters get hate and that's a good thing to break into. It's because it's not the traditional way of doing things. But at the same time, obviously like uh, you have more opportunity by doing something that's not the traditional way of doing it. So like skateboarders love being like, oh, we're, we're the others and we're kind of like punk rock in a way and like, yep. we're like the outcast. But at the same time, we have like so many rules, like as skateboarders and skateboard etiquette has so many rules. So I think like breaking those rules will actually be a big advantage in your skateboarding career. Yeah. you know career and community itself you know yeah and yourself like just skateboarding like you're gonna skateboard longer you're gonna enjoy skateboarding it's not a uh, constant comparing yourself to other skaters or just yeah. like doing your own thing shout out to the creature guys for uh, building this diy bank wall me and al actually skated this thing what maybe five years ago Six, what seven. video part was that for match with us i thought oh match with us front side 50 50 to fakey I was actually working on a video part right now. Yep. And traditionally speaking, video parts are for like brands or for thrasher or for media outlets. You're filming a video part, but you're putting it on your own YouTube. Yes. Which is like something I think skaters should do more of. I think like I shot, maybe some people do do that, but again, breaking the rules of traditional thing. And I did that. I put like a video part together about a year ago for my birthday and released it. Now I was going to do the same thing. It's like, it's really cool because it's like a non-traditional way to do it. But it's all like in your own control and yeah. you're not like the thing about like trying to get your video part on thrasher or something like that it's like that like there's so many requirements and steps and hoops that you got to jump through the traditional way of doing things and like not doing that actually might be an advantage because not only do you monetize your video part but also you're able to control it a little more you can use the song that you want to use yeah like, exactly you don't throw have your to, like, homies in that you want to throw in throw right. the clips you want and like make it your way like right. make it your part like your vision other sponsors, they have their own vision for their part and what they want to sell. So they're going to take your clips, and do whatever they want with it, and use it their way. But you have your own vision for your part, and most, you know, most sponsors aren't going to take your vision into full effect because they got to, you know, market their own their product. Exactly. Yeah, that's the thing. Like every, even Thrasher, they're marketing a product. So like you're packaging together all your skateboarding, you're yep. giving it to them, and then they push you out so that they can market their product. And it's kind of like a new day in a way. I was talking to somebody about this recently. He's like, skateboarders can be their own product. You don't need to constantly endorse a product. You can just be a skater now. Yeah. And I think that's sort of breaking traditional skateboarding, which I think skateboard companies might not like or skateboard brands might not like that because the reality is they need skateboarders more than skateboarders need them. But I don't think that's always really clear or said. You just nailed it on the head. Like that is so... That is, that is so true, yeah. They need skaters, skaters don't need them. Yeah, yeah, don't be wrong, like I'm very thankful for, and I'm not trying to hate on Thrasher, this isn't Thrasher, they just happen to be the only media outlet out there that pushes a lot of the best video parts. Let me make it clear. But I guess my okay. point is like, it's very traditional way of doing things, and I think that traditional way is starting to shift to where the skaters have more power, and I personally like that. Me too, and I think we should run that, and we should keep working that up, because yeah. I think breaking the traditional values, and everyone putting out their own part it's just going to influence people more it's going to influence skateboarding itself and yeah and know. it pushes skateboarding yeah, further push, yeah that's the thing like when you're relying solely on like one outlet like now obviously we have social media i'm just this old guy and i feel like I'm aging myself in this video but the point being is that like it's not so much controlled by these um standards or expectations you're able to put it out however you feel is packaged and you feel comfortable with yeah you know?